You're watching Fox 13 News at 9 with Bob Evans and Hope Woodside. What if someone told you the chronic pain you were living with could go away within the hour? Or that you could heal your child's stomach ache without a trip to the doctor? Tonight, a test of your belief system, a look into the world of theta healing and the people who say they are proof it works. In this quiet Utah town, some say miracles happen in this house. I take the other person's hands or I don't even need to touch them. Either way, it works. Melinda Lee is a certified medical intuitive healer. She says she heals her patients by accessing theta brain waves. What you're doing is you're working with advanced science and with quantum physics and you're actually affecting matter and the movement of energy and atoms and matter and physical particles in order to assist with healing in the body. Is this too good to be true? Family practitioner Dr. Hugo Rodier told me the concept of energy work is sound. You know we have a hundred trillion cells, every, every one of us is a hundred trillion cells. These cells, every one of them, is very receptive to energy of any form, but it turns out that any form of energy will influence how our cells work. And so now I'm talking about the energy of our thoughts, our loved ones, the relationships we have, ambient light, electromagnetism. All those things are playing on the cell just as well. Wayne Wiley fell two stories on a construction site and landed on a saw. He says he broke his ribs, tore ligaments in his hips, and had chronic back pain until he saw Melinda. Basically, they told me I was going to have to live with the pain the rest of my life. I come down and had a session with Melinda, one session. She uh, did a healing on me, sitting in a chair. And before I even stood up, my back has never felt better. Wayne used to be on pain pills and pain patches. Today, he is medication free. I stood up and I was like, in amazement. Alexis Rowley is a medical assistant. She broke her toe walking up some stairs. After three months, it was considered a non-union, which there's no chance the bone would heal. Alexis saw Melinda two days before surgery, and by the time she got to the operating room, Alexis said her toe had healed. The doctor was baffled. He came and saw me post-operation, and he couldn't believe what he tried to pry it open, pry the break open, and it was a complete heal after it was considered a non-union fracture. In fact, in post-op notes, the doctor wrote, quote, the blade could not penetrate through the bony callus that had apparently healed across the fracture. Melinda says the healing doesn't come from her. She is just the funnel through which healing energy flows. It is the healing of the future, I really believe, because it is a moment in time when you connect with the creator in this brainwave and you go in and you see something healed and you visualize it. Melinda tells me during healing, clients go into an altered consciousness, and that means lowering your brain frequency. She tells me currently we are in beta, the analytic brainwave. Then you can go through alpha, then theta. That's called the creation brainwave. Next is delta. That's where meditation is done. Coming up later in the show, you'll meet a woman who studied under Melinda and is now using theta healing techniques to heal her family. Earlier, we met medical intuitive healer Melinda Lee. She's not only a healer, but a certified anatomy instructor. Now, you heard two of her clients' stories. Now meet a woman who learned from Melinda how to do theta healing on herself and her family. I've taken, I don't know, days and days of class, but you can, you can learn to do the very most basic things in, you know, 15 minutes. Chris Myrick is a wife and mother who learned how to do theta healing from medical intuitive Melinda Lee. Chris admits at first she was skeptical. It took Melinda healing my son of his ear infections, you know, in one five minute session that made a believer out of me. Chris says she was able to help her son Colton after he got hurt jumping from a tree. And I just thought his legs were broken like they said and they were both, they put him in splints, he was wheeling himself outside in a wheelchair, he, he wouldn't bear weight at all. Chris used Theta Healing on Colton that night. Two days later, they went to their second doctor's appointment. When we took him to Primary Children's, um, the doctors look at, looked at the x-rays and um, could see the breaks and wanted to do her own. And after she looked at the x-rays she did, there was no breaks. She took off the cap and he walked out of there. 
So in two days' time? Yes. He was fine. He was fine. It was at that visit that Chris's husband, Kurt, became a believer in energy work. As a physical therapist, I've seen some people get better I would never expect. Um, but this is completely different. I mean, I was based in the physical world, and this is, I mean, it is, it's hard to believe at first. Dr. Hugo Rodier, a family medicine practitioner in Utah, says energy work is common in Eastern medicine. Now it's seeing more and more acceptance by Western doctors. Well, if we see an energy worker who is reputable and is he helping people at a reasonable cost, I think we should be open-minded to to look into it and not dismiss it outright. Melinda agrees. She teaches three-day seminars on Theta Healing and sees more and more doctors in her audience. There were people there from all over the world, healers from all, all places and all types of doctors that had actually changed from their conventional medical practice to doing alternative healing like this. Almost everyone we inter interviewed for this story says Theta Healing does not replace medical care when you need it. It is rather an alternative approach to holistic well-being. Now, if you'd like to contact Melinda Lee, you can go to our website, myfoxutah.com. If you need a hospital.